Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator at Bearbull Traders, and today I would like to walk you through the simple steps of setting up a high volume scanner. Today I took only one trade today and I took it on the ticker ENPH and I was brought on to the ticker because of its gap but also its volume. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Catalyst and how that's really, really important for what we call sell the news events. So and let's we'll talk a little bit behind that, but I also want to show you the uh, the way I found the volume scanner to get into it. So, with no further ado, on to the trades. So if you can see here on EMPH, I'm no longer holding the position. I actually played an R3 to S3 traverse on it, and it was a beautiful move. Um, I got in actually during the opening minute after it squeezed, and I saw incredibly high selling come out on the tape. Um, I used a new I used a new high. Um, and I took pro uh, profit as we came down into R2 and then R1 and then uh, a little bit more into the central range and then I went all out at target or just above target at S3 when I saw a lot of buying starting to come in on the tape there and I figured you know what far enough right so now I found ENPH using a high volume scanner in DOS so if you are looking for an easy way to identify stocks that are in play or stocks that have news or something going on, the easiest way to do it today is the way that they did it back, you know, practically 100 years ago at this point, right? Which is you go where the noise is, you go where the volume is, where is everybody playing, right? And most likely if there's a lot of volume, then this is what we're gonna be looking for. Now, a couple of things to look out for, single block trades. You get a whole bunch of volume, but it all happened on one single block trade. Take a look at the, uh, the, the flag type on that. Might not have even been from these market hours, right? Don't get caught into those. You want consistent volume that's spread out over a pretty fair period of time to let you know that you're going in there. So ENPH had that today, and it's what had it on my main list today. Now, if you're looking to do a scanner, if you go up to Tools in DOS and then go down to Scanner, it'll pop out this uh, dialog box here. Now, my, uh, my scanner ha uh, box looks a little weird because of the size of my screen. For some reason, DOS doesn't quite handle the resolution well. But basically, what I'm using here is a high-volume mid-price morning scanner is what I've named it. Right Now, how you get that, if you go to Modify, Right, basically all this is is a volume and price filter. So if you go to DOS and you go on, they only have a couple different scanners available currently and one of them is a volume and price filter. So I go there and then for price, I don't like playing lower than $25. I don't like playing higher than 500. So I go ahead and mark that in. and then for volume, I want basically anything over a million shares. So by the time I sit down and I start doing my pre-market routine, which starts around 8.45 to 9 o'clock, I'm going to run this in. And basically anything over a million shares immediately gets my attention. Now, believe it or not, today that was only about seven tickers, four of which were ETFs, right? So it really gives you a very narrow list very quickly if you're just using the volume, which is primarily what I use. So you just commit that to get it to go in there and then you run a scanner and you'll get a list. Now, the market's been open so everything has over a million shares right now. So all you're gonna get is basically alphabets up to about bill. Um, but in the morning, what you'll find is you'll only end up with one or two, sometimes four tickers. Sometimes it'll be the SPY ETF showing you that the only thing that's really in play today is the market and often then I'll just play ETFs, right? And that really, really helps you a lot with making sure you you know, you really focus. Again, very valuable thing to do is to pay attention to where the volume's going, what's in play. Then you go out and look for news that's related to that. You know, go to Benzinga, go to Finviz, go to, um, you know, BBT actually has a new news tool coming up pretty soon. You can go and hit that. You know, and you can get these, um, figure out what's going on. Now, with ENPH to close out the trade, I wanna, I'm gonna zoom in here on my, uh, my daily here. Um, ENPH, what happens here, if you've noticed, is I went short all the way up near R4 on the daily and it had a really big drop the whole day after this large gap. We call this a sell the news event, right? So what happened is ENPH had earnings coming out, but they were much better than expected. But if you notice, the price gap to 180 was from, we were already at 120 weeks before, so there's going to be a lot of people 
who have already bought into this and have already made a lot of money. But there's also going to want to be larger institutions, maybe, that are going to want to buy in. But they're not going to buy in way up here. Rather, they're going to allow the price to drag back to value. Now, if you look out on the daily on the greater scale, look, we have this large value area here back at 160. And sure enough, that's exactly where we got drug back into, right? So if you're looking for stocks to play on a day-to-day -day basis, it's there are some advantages to having a, a kind of a list of stocks that you like because you get familiar with the personalities, but there's a disadvantage, which is that you're going to often um, miss out on more catalytic opportunities. Um, and that is where your major volatility is. And remember, as a day trader, you are restricted to a, a quantity or a quantifiable thing that other stock traders are not, right? Swing traders and long-term participants aren't influenced by time, right? They're influenced by price. If they can hold indefinitely, you're a day trader, you're influenced by time. You only have a certain amount of time every single day to get that move that you need in order to make your profit. So if you're looking for those opportunities, you're going to find them where the volume is and where the biggest news catalysts are available. I hope that's helpful, everybody. If it was, please take a moment. Um, Throw me a thumbs up, like the channel, ring that bell, subscribe. You know how it goes. More content coming out. Um, look forward to seeing some comments in there. Hope everyone has a great one. And as always, y'all, keep it green. Thanks.